that is a wrap! Ah! I didn't really breathe before. Here with my team, Sean in the background. Heyo! <laughs> and we've got Matt in! Hello so me. beautiful people for anyone new to this channel my name is Matilda Gracchi and I make videos every Thursday in today's video I'm gonna be talking you guys through all the steps I take in order to have a awesome vocal recording the last few weeks I have been prepping and in and out of the studio recording my vocal tracks for my upcoming two singles. So I'm super excited to share this process with you guys and I have learned a few tips and tricks to make sure you have an amazing vocal performance. In order to be fully prepared though, it's not just enough to practice a bit the day before, so I'm gonna bring it back a few weeks. In my case, the recordings have been over a few months. Uh, in today's video, I'm gonna be recording my vocals for my upcoming two singles. The time you should know this in a bit, of, a bit of time in advance and you are able to do these steps to maximize your time at the studio. Scratch vocals. This is when you record the actual vocal ideas at home, nice and easy. You record everything like you were gonna do in the studio. You bombard your project with backing vocals and different ideas just really go for it you have that complete freedom because you're doing it from your house and you're doing it weeks in advance you're just getting ready you're getting all those creative juices flowing for the actual recording the second thing is feedback so make sure after you do your scratch vocals you send these for some feedback so maybe it's your producer maybe it's just a few friends of yours, musicians that you really trust, a group of people that you really trust their opinion and that you know that they have your best interests at heart. And of course, just generally practice and practice and practice these ideas, sculpt them out, make sure you are ready for your recordings. Ha -ha. On this week prior to your recordings, you want to work on your technique, your vocal technique, as much as possible. So in my case, working loads on pitch accuracy, on belting. And there are storms we cannot... On agility, in order to facilitate how comfortable I felt in the studio. You should be practicing anyway, but it's especially important to practice before recording because as a vocalist or as any musician in general, your craft is evolving and getting better each time more and more. So the week before, you wanna make sure you get a really steady vocal routine in there. And also, you wanna make sure you have your physical and mental prep. So in my case, I've done my yoga, I've done light exercise, and I've done lots of stretching. My Wim Hof breathing and meditation. Just lots of different techniques in order to get me in a good physical and mental state for my recording the next week. Put some visualization in there if you can. And if you keep playing that movie in your head, that positive movie of you just being a kick-ass vocalist, then that's more likely how you're gonna feel on the day. Okay, fast forward and we get to the night before the recording. You wanna make sure you are relaxed, you don't go out partying, you have a really chilled night in. Or this is for me at least, everyone is different. If you are not well rested, this is going to affect your instrument. You are your instrument as a vocalist. So what I do on the morning of a recording, get up nice and early and I do my morning routine. Video is linked underneath if you wanna have a look at how my morning routine looks. The most important thing is that you find those steps to really center you and make sure that you feel ready for the recording. So both mentally, physically, and creatively as well. Once you have had that time for yourself, that time to reconnect, that time to really reassure yourself you're gonna have an amazing day and an amazing recording session, then it's important to do some light vocal exercises, focus on diction, focus on pitch, uh, a few agility, agility, agility exercises. Just give yourself a little light warm up before you go into the studio, but nothing too heavy. 
So once you are in the studio, you want to make sure you make your life as easy as possible. So first of all, bring all the essentials with you. So that might be lyrics, that might be just some cheat sheets that you have, uh, a laptop with some ideas with your scratch vocals, for example. Get there on time, and that actually means early. <laughs> So I always get there around 15 minutes before just so I have a little bit of bearing of what's going on and I can actually set up my camera if I'm doing some vlogging, set up my lyrics, set up my computer and I'm just completely ready. Maybe I want to take my shoes off, I sometimes like taking my shoes off in the studio or just doing some light stretches. Once you are ready and your producer and your sound engineer is ready, just make sure in general you communicate what you are trying to achieve in Next these vocal recordings. Make sure you have an overall professional attitude, you are easy and happy and you are positive. If you're easy to work with, you are gonna be called back more and more times. But also finding that balance between knowing exactly what you want and also being open to new ideas that maybe your producer has. So make sure you feel good, feel confident and you will be able to adapt to any little changes you have in the studio. And most importantly, have fun because this is a, such a fun experience. And just enjoy yourself, push your boundaries, push your limits, and make sure that everything feels natural, it feels relaxed, and you are having a great time. So that is the process I go through before I go into the studio and record vocals. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Give it a big thumbs up if you have, and also don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. I also have the link to my music channel just below, so do go and check that one out too. Recordings have started. So we have done the first song and now it is time to do this song, uh -huh. which is the second song we're doing. Um, so, yeah. first song is done, woo! You can see Sean in the background. <laughs> First song is done and finished and I must say I nailed it, I'm so happy, but I have been practicing so much. That is a wrap! Ah! It's 10 o'clock now and we started recording at like half 11, so it's been a long day. Super happy how it's gone and we'll be showing you guys the results real soon. <laughs> Very enthusiastic, but I think they're tired and they, they all want some food now. We have Linda! Till next time, that was it for me. Thank you guys, bye.